Okay, so you just read the short fable, The Fox and the Goat, from page 13. Before we do our work here on this page, I want you to go back one page to page 12. We're going to go through the notes on what is characterization. And basically, characterization is the process by which the writer reveals the personality of a character. So we're going to say the writer reveals the personality of a character. Now, I don't care what you use. You can use a colored pencil. You can use a highlighter, um, a pen, whatever you need to color code your notes to highlight the important information. We're only going to go through and highlight the critical bits. So again, we're going to highlight the writer reveals, and the key word there is reveals, the personality of a character. You kind of have to think about it like if someone were to ask you, describe your best friend, and then you were to proceed to say what your best friend looked like, what color their hair was, what their hobbies are, what they like to do, if they're funny, if they're sporty, all of those things, that's characterization. That's what it is. It's describing a character and their personality. Now, an author does that in two ways. It's revealed through direct characterization and indirect. Now, they're opposites of each other, and you'll see that in just a minute. <clears throat> direct characterization, here's your key word, tells tells the audience what the personality of the character is. So this is when the author literally comes right out and says who they are or what they look like. For example, the patient boy and quiet girl were both well-mannered and did not disobey their mother. Well, the author is coming directly out and saying the boy is patient, the girl is quiet, and they are both well-mannered. They're not making you, the reader, figure out that the boy is patient. They're coming straight out and telling you. So the key is the author is directly telling the audience. You don't have to figure it out. They come right out and tell you. Now the opposite of direct is indirect. The prefix in means not. So indirect literally means not direct, or the opposite of direct. Keyword here is shows. So the author is not going to come right out and tell you. It is not going to be super obvious. You, the reader, have to kind of look at the hints and the clues to figure it out. We use the mnemonic device, and mnemonic just means memory device, of steel to remember the five types of indirect characterization. So there are five <coughs> types of indirect characterization, and they're right here. So we're gonna highlight S-T-E-A-L. So an author uses a character's speech, a character's thoughts, their effect on other people around them, the actions that they do, and the looks they have. That is how an author indirectly tells you about a character. And the way you can remember it is we steal information about the characters rather than having the author directly tell us. So it's our job to steal the clues to figure out what the character is. And in this little box simply says indirect characterization is the job of the reader. You have to reason you have to make an inference, and you figure out from what the author doesn't come out and tell you who the character is. And you wanna look at their physical traits, mental, social, moral, behaviors, emotions, and culture. All of those things come together to help you characterize even though the author doesn't come right out and tell you. So. We're gonna try stealing some information about the goat and the fox from our fable. So we're gonna look at an excerpt from the story. So this is a direct quote from the story. And then we're gonna figure out what this quote reveals 
about Goat's personality. The author is not going to come out and directly tell us. We as the reader have to figure it out. So the excerpt says, Soon a gray nose appeared at the well's rim. What are you doing down there? called Goat. Now you, the reader, have to go, Hmm, what does this reveal about Goat? And the first thing I think of is I think of my own children when I'm doing something in the kitchen and they come in and they're like, what you doing? And it usually means they're simply curious. They want to know what's going on. So this excerpt reveals that the goat is curious. So we're going to write in this space, goat is curious. He is possibly too curious for his own good. Oops. So this excerpt, even though the author did not come out and say, the goat was curious and looked into the well. That's direct characterization. This is indirect. So from the, what he says, so we're looking at the goat's speech. He says, what are you doing down there? That, we're going to guess that he's curious. And he might be too curious for his own good. So let's do the next one. Here's another excerpt. And this next one's going to be about goat as well. You're so clever, said goat. And he did just as Fox asked him. What does this excerpt reveal about goat's personality. Now, what happens is Fox tells him this little story and goat is like, oh, you are so clever and just does what he says without even thinking about it. And there's actually a word to describe someone who falls for anything. Maybe you know what it is, but as a reader, I believe that this shows that goat is gullible. Have you ever heard of the word gullible? Gullible simply means, um, I'm going to put a semicolon because I'm going to keep going. He falls for tricks easily. So it's like on April Fool's, if someone tells you something and you are like, really? And then they say, oh, you're so gullible. It means you fell for it. And in this case, what goat does, his actions, reveal that he's gullible. He didn't really think before he did it. So now we're going to take a look at Fox. The fox says, this water is so perfectly delicious that I may just stay here enjoying myself all afternoon. But I'm a generous fellow, you know, and I'm willing to share the fun. Would you like to join me? This is fox speaking. And again, it's one of our steel. His speech. What does his speech reveal about his personality? Well, you and I know that the fox is in a pickle. He's in a predicament. He doesn't like the well water. He wants to get out, but he needs to trick someone into helping him, so he lies. He's lying. So I believe that fox is, you could use different words, deceitful, deceptive, tricky. I'm going to use deceptive. And Fox is deceptive, and it comes easily to him. Which means he's deceptive, and he's good at it. He does it all the time. He's mastered it, which is not a good thing. But from what he says here, we as the reader figure out he's a liar, deceptive, deceitful, and then now we'll do the last one. So Fox shook the water off, fluffed up his fur, and off he went on his merry way. What does this excerpt reveal about Fox's personality? Well, basically, the fox just left the goat 
at the bottom of the well after the goat just helped him out. Again, the fox does not seem like a very nice person. So as a reader, this, these actions, and again, I'm taking from Steel, his actions show that he is, see, what word do we want to use? Um, not very, I don't want to just use, like, not nice. So you could come over here to your list and look at negative words like mean. Um, you could look under mean. You could look under negative, thoughtless, cold-hearted. Um, what else do I like? I kind of like cold-hearted. Yes? Okay. His actions show that, oh, his actions show that, I meant to write he, whoops, is not very, I'm going to use kind. He is cold-hearted. I enjoy that word. So if you can't think of a good descriptive word, that's why we have this list. So look there. Because he left goat at the bottom of the well and just walked away. So, this is how you do indirect characterization. You use what they say, how they act, how they affect others, and you figure out who they are as a character. So that is indirect characterization.